You know, I'm finding myself more and more saying to my wife on any given day, you just don't know what a day holds, do you? And that is so true. We do not know what a day holds, and we need to be prepared for whatever comes our way, don't we? Let's talk about that in your morning cup of inspiration. And I think I usually say something like that when I see or hear of a friend or a family or somewhere in the news of some accident or death or sickness or maybe a great victory. You just don't know what a day holds. And when we get up in the morning, we need to prepare ourselves for however God wants to use us in whatever opportunity he provides. I'm thinking of the story of David. When David got up that morning and his dad asked him to take food to his brothers, he did not know what that day was going to hold, did he? He was talking about who's going to take care of Goliath. And word got back to King Saul that he was saying this. King Saul uh, calls him over and David says, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. David took the opportunity, did not know it ahead of time, but chose to fight David, uh, fight Goliath. And you know he didn't pre-plan what he said to Goliath, but it is powerful. He said, you come against me with the sword and the spear and the javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you've defied. And this day the Lord will hand you over to me and I'll strike you down. For the battle is the Lord's and he'll give all of you into our hands. David was prepared for the day, wasn't he? He didn't have to go back and sit and build up his courage. He didn't have to think whether his life was on the line. He didn't have to think what was going to be said to Goliath. And that can happen for us today. If we'll get up in the morning, read our word, pray to God, ask him to prepare us for whatever comes our way this day, he'll do it. So I encourage you to live a prepared life. Be ready for whatever God brings and allow his power, his strength, his Holy Spirit to work through you today to accomplish every hurdle, every battle, everything he throws your way today. I'm going to believe with you for it to happen just as I am myself. Hey, God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.